what is good youtube now listen in today's video i have the best loadouts for you guys to use on modern warfare 2 now they did take tuning out of the game for uh because it was causing like crashes and stuff like that so there is no tuning in the game currently but if you don't really care about camel grinding and you just want to pop stomp i have the best guns for you guys to use for you guys to drop high kill games and nukes and whatever it is all right before we jump into the guns if you guys are new to the channel make sure to hit that subscribe button turn on post notifications we post every single day all right we're also live streaming on youtube so if you guys want to come check out the stream you guys know what to do and most importantly if you enjoyed the video make sure to drop a like and a comment down below all right so let's get into the video okay so first gun is the m4 now most likely half of you guys have probably been dying to this gun um over and over and over and over again all right um this is everybody's go-to gun um everybody loves this gun very fast um ttk low recoil almost everybody has this gun gold to be honest all right but these are attachments we're using so the high tower 20 inch barrel um the demo buffer tube the saxon rear grip 45 round mags and the demo firm grip all right, now this is the best part about MW2. We actually have a firing range. So after every gun, I give you the attachments. I'm just going to test it out in the firing range. Look at that. Low recoil. Um, very fast TTK. Let's see if we can hit that. Very fast TTK. The gun is insane, all right? But this is everybody's go-to gun when it comes to the AR, the M4A1. So if you guys like to pop stomp, this is the first gun you need to do. Second gun is the MP5, other known as the um, Lackman Sub. Um, probably the best SMG out there, 100%. Um, you do have to jump to a lot of loopholes to get the gun unlocked, but once you get it unlocked, it is insane. All right, so the attachments we're using is the FTAC barrel, um, no stock, the Lackman Tan rear grip, um, 40 round mags, and Merc foregrip. Now, I do love this gun. The recoil is not crazy, and the TTK is insane. All right, let's see. So again, hardly any recoil. Now, I don't think I can hit that one. Wow, as an SMG, that's pretty good. All right, close range, dead. Mid range, dead. Long range, might take a few um, bullets because again, it is a, it is a SMG. All right, but again, really solid um, SMG. First choice, as always. Next gun, we have the uh, TAC-56, also known as a SCAR. Um, a lot of people say, well, a lot of pros have been using this in their uh, 3v3 S&D 20s and stuff like that. Some say it's better than the M4, some say the M4 is better, but this is one of the best ARs to use in multiplayer if you want to just pop stomp, all right? When I'm grinding for camos, if you guys see my eyes right now, I'm extremely tired because I've been grinding for camos all day. All right, now, um, whenever a team is getting stomped on, this is their go-to, the all reliable. All right, they pull out the TAC-56. So the attachments you want to use is uh, the Tundra Pro Barrel, um, whatever side you want to use, um, the Combat Grip, 44 round mags, and I'm using the the, um, the variant from the beta, so it, has, it comes with like an underbell or whatever, so you just don't need to change that. It's still pretty good. All right, close range, dead. And it has this very good um, blue dot side. So if you, oh, I need to upgrade the crony. Let's kill this guy real quick. Yeah, so it has this very, um, this variant has a very good blue dot. Now when it's tuned, you can change it to, um, to, have, the, to have a better recoil pattern. But again, they took out the tuning, oh my God, because of a crash. But again, yeah, the scar is insanely good. Especially when you're hitting headshots. I'm just not hitting that last guy over there. Okay. I right, know the next gun on the list is the AK-74U. Um, now, this is probably my favorite AR. Just because uh, it surprised me how good it was. Mid-range, close-range, and long-range. It is extremely good. This is probably the easiest gun I had to get gold. Like, I did this in probably like an hour and a half. Like, no joke leveling up getting all the attachments doing all the um the challenges probably like an hour and a half this gun is extremely 
easy to use. Now, these are the attachments I was using. I was using the Minared Dot, um, the RPK Factory Stock, True Tight Grip, 45 round mag, and the Echoless 80 muzzle. Now, you don't want to use a barrel because the barrel um, takes away damage range, bullet velocity. Like, it just doesn't make sense to use a barrel, but the gun is still good even without a barrel. All right. I can see. Just a bit of visual recoil. Um, I think it's only in the firing range, though. Like you're seeing the smoker, but in game there's no um for some strange reason there's no uh there's no smart that's pretty weird oh yeah but again this uh why is my um the many frames dropping. This has a beam. Again, nasty. Absolutely nasty. Now, if you're a sniper, you're going to be very excited about this. Snipers in this game is insane. Like, when I'm getting sniped, like, close range, like, I feel... Like, whenever I get sniped, I feel like I die to a shotgun. That's how good it is. Like, you don't even realize the shotgun is a sniper until... You watch the kill cam. That's how good it is. Um, you can run an optic. You don't have to run an optic. The iron sights on the SBR is insanely good. Um, but these are attachments I use for the quick scope um, SBR. The carbon barrel, um, the 44V3 laser, the um, T70 pad accession, the Amos Sys 406 comb, and the FSS SD87 bolt. You don't have to use a sight. Um, you can use uh, anything you want to. If you want to put a side on, you can put a side on. But again, the iron sights work fine. Let's see if we quick scope. Can you no scope from all over here? If I hit a no scope from all over here, that's kind of crazy. Never mind. Again, the health is um. Oh my god. I'm not a sniper, by the way. If you guys can tell. I cannot snipe. Oh my god. Can I hit a, a, a target that's not moving? Oh my god. Last on the list is surprisingly the Fennec. Now, it shoots, shoots extremely fast. All right. Now, just like the Modern Warfare 2019, it does shoot extremely fast. The TTK is not insanely high, but just because you're shooting it, the fire rate is so quick, you are killing your opponents rather quickly. Um, so the attachments I was using on the Fennec were the Fennec Convert uh, Force Barrel, uh, Mini Red Dot, the F-Tac Stock Cap, um, the Fennec Stipple Grip, and the 45 round mags. And now... Mid range, it's not really uh, uh like anything close. You can definitely uh okay. We're not we're not killing this guy that that far out. I don't care. Maybe if you mounted, let's see. Yeah, that is it's just not a long range gun because obviously it's an SMG. But um, mid range, close range, stupid. If you guys are worried about. Oh, if you guys are worried about the uh, the reload time, then obviously you're running um, fast hands with it. If you're not running fast hands, you're chopped, by the way. I'm not going to lie to you. No fast hands chopped. Oh, it moves if you come on this side. So I just realized that if you, if you shoot from this side, it moves. Or is it? They're the best weapons to use in multiplayer if you just want to pop stomp. All right. Now... I'm extremely tired. I'm actually going right after this video. I'm going back to camel grinding. So if I was slurring my words in um, in the video, it's because I have not slept at all. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like and a comment down below.